Hi new friends! Welcome to my channel, Dragonfly Bees. My name is Susie. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Macari, and Etsy. Today, you are witnessing my first ever video of an unboxing. I, um, I purchased a Goodwill blue box, a repurposed box, for the first time. I mean, I've tried so many times online and each time I'm just about to pay it gets sold out so I was able to get one last Friday and that was um, December 11th and I got it today it's Wednesday the 16th um, perhaps uh, because it only came from where to come from South Hackensack, New Jersey, and uh, I'm in New York, so I guess that's why it came so quick. Um, all right, so yeah, I'm dying to see what's in here. It's a repurposed box, so I'm not going to get my hopes up high, but you know, who knows? Um, but before I forget, please feel free to hit the like button after the video and and also the subscribe button because that way you get alerts um, to my future videos so plus if you like any um, anything that you see today you could also email me and my email is dragonflybees at gmail.com and um, we could work out a price but okay come on let's get to it here's the box I don't know if you can see, but it it is five pounds, so let's get it opened. I got my box cutter. Um, oh, it was uh, $29.99 with um, $5 shipping fee, so, you know, 35 bucks. 35 bucks and we get to see what we get for 35 bucks um oh gosh well I'm glad they packed it up really well you hear it Ugh. Um, oh look at that there's a big rip on the side Okay, guess what? I opened it up that way. Okay, oh man. Oh, at least it came in a bag. It came in a bag. Okay, wow. Five pounds, people. Ugh. Okay. You ready? I am. Okay, let's uh, see what we got. Pour it out. Boop. Oh gosh. Okay, here goes. Let me push it to the side. Well, okay, this came out first. What do we have here? It's a ring, missing some rhinestones, very dirty, very dirty, um, no marks, uh, all right, um, craft, craft pile. So, um, what I do is, yes, I do sell craft lots for folks that like to um, repurpose and create their own beautiful uh, designs. Okay, here's next. Ooh, okay, I see some glue, but it's, um, it's cute, it's plastic, it's a clamper, and there is a mark. Ugh. The mark says, hand 
crafted something. Handcrafted. Ugh. Let's see. Okay, like I said, it's my first video. I need better lighting. Uh, Alexis Bitter? Bitter? Bitar? Alexis Bitar. Hand carved by Alexis Bitar. All right. Anyone know about this designer? Feel free to comment below. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to look this up. Find out more about it. What else? What else? Ugh. Ugh. Heavy. Heavy, heavy. Uh. Uh. Well, that ain't coming out. Okay. Broken. Broken. Craft lot. Uh. Big ring. Uh. Not missing any stones. Um, you know, cute, heavy, cute. Ah, all right. What else? Oh, gosh. I think I'm going to have to, I may have to stop and resort all this first because it's a, it's really a big tangled mess. Hmm. You know what? Let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay. I am back. Oh, my goodness. I'm tired. That took me close to an hour to untangle, and there's still two pieces that I just gave up on. So, um, let's begin. Um, first of all, I, I showed you the uh, first things that were fell out of the box, and here is a um, copper tone squiggly bracelet. Heavy, very heavy. Uh, no mark. Um, it kind of clips on. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I'll be honest. Anything with fabric, I, I just like get all skeeved out about. But um, there is a mark, and I don't know what it means. It looks like a... It doesn't matter. It's going in the craft pot. Okay. What else we have? This very heavy, heavy stretch bracelet, which is... I don't know. Craft lot. It's kind of loose. But, my gosh, all the stones are there. I'm sure someone can repurpose it or even just, you know, put new elastic in it. It's really, it's nice. It's heavy. Okay. Pink faux pearls with a little toggle and uh, a pearl charm. Um, it's magnetic. There is a magnetic, uh, clasp. Cute. Mm, not sure what it says. Let me see. Let's see what it says. Um... China, 925. You think? Um, I'll test it. But pretty. Very pretty. Okay. Next. Okay, this was a... This is... This kind of baffled me because when I untangled it, These were the ends. There's no, um, I mean, it's very long. 
it's a gold tone. Um, some of it is fading. It's plastic. Craft lot. Yep. There you go. Craft lot. Okay. Next. Feels cold. Could be real agate. Yeah, it feels pretty cold. I wonder if these are. I don't know. It's um, it's vintage. It's got some of that green goo on it. It's hand knotted. I think a crafter would like these beads and make something out of it. Okay. Chico's. Chico's. Pretty worn. Pretty dirty. Pretty long. All these pretty charms on the end. Dangly things. I don't know. It's kind of worn. Chico's. Very long. Maybe I'll clean it. See how it looks afterwards. Because you know these are pretty. These are pretty nice. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what is this? This looks um, like a hematite. Hematite. It's a lobster clasp. It's got a little detail on the end, like little spikes. Oh, gosh. It's a. Uh, It looks in good shape. It looks like, um, I don't know, lightning bolts. Sorry. How's that look? Little dangly things. The rhinestones are all intact. Kind of nice. Got a rope chain. Just look at that. It's unusual. I think lots of people like unusual in the back. You could see the rope chain going through the um, the little pendant designs. Hmm. Really, uh, really different. Um, I think it says A B A B. Does anyone know what AB is? If you do, let me know. Okay. All right, stretchy bracelet. I'm not really fond of stretchy bracelets. But this is, um, it's okay. It's got, oh, these may be, these may be real. They feel cold. Maybe, uh, dyed. How light? I don't know. I don't know. You see? The elastic. It looks kind of yellowish. Craft lot. Another stretchy one. Ugh, this one's really stretched out. But, I don't know. This stone looks pretty real. Can you see? I'm sorry. Like I said, it's my first video. Um, all right. This one, someone can repurpose. It's really cute. I mean, colors are nice. Uh, Tricolor rings, where are you? Okay, there you go. 
tricolor rings. They look pretty big. I don't know. How would you wear them if they're all stacked up like that? Ugh. It doesn't fit. Well, then again, it's my index finger. Uh, I don't know. Cute. Costume. Another stretchy purple baubles and some wooden beads on a silver tone stretch bracelet. Huh. Tiny, 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 tiny little, tiny pearls too, tiny little pearl necklace. Um, what does it say? Uh, Trafari. Oh my gosh. It says Trafari. Okay. Really tiny though. It, man, it's like for a baby. Um, uh, all right. It's it's a choker style, Trafari. Okay. Oh, I think this matches that that jangly. Uh, bracelet I just showed you and it has a little tag uh Chico's okay Chico's so kind of looks like a rosary bead type of necklace where'd this come from oh huh. so this one matches this one so you got a set over here that's cool I don't know. Anyone like it? Purple. Here's a big one. Wow. This feels like a real natural stone. Gonna have to test it, but look at the size. And it's on a gold tone chain. No mark. But it's a, a gold tone, I don't know, kind of like a Rolo, Rolo chain. With a big hunk of green stone. Okay, what's this? Uh, hair. Hair today, go on tomorrow. Another, something AB. Does anyone know what AB is? Another long, long, it's heavy. These gold, I don't know, these gold swirly things with rhinestones in them, they're heavy. Uh, you would think they'd be hollow, but they're not. They're this would hang, uh, hang quite nicely. It's really long. And it has like faceted turquoise teal color stones. No, uh, I think they're plastic. And then you have these iridescent, iridescent, um, flat kind of like rock rocks but you got these huge feel them uh, I know you can't feel them but you hear that this is really heavy it's so heavy <laughs> okay <laughs> moving on okay so what do you think of this repurposed box so far okay this was one of the the necklaces that I didn't untangle but um, 
it does have a make maker's tag and it says C with the little rhinestone. Um, I don't know. Is that charming, Charlie? Something like that? I don't recall, but it's kind of dirty. Like the gold tone is like antique -y looking because it needs to be cleaned. But it's got these pretty iridescent um, faceted stones. Well, and these little green faceted beads also. Uh, it's kind of cute. It's kind of pretty. I guess I have to clean it up and, and untangle it. And maybe, uh, maybe it'll look a little way nicer. But you see how that glitters? It's like, it's like the ocean. All right, big chunker coming. It's another, it's another one that says AB. What's AB, girls, guys? Tell me, tell me, I don't know. Wow, heavy, heavy, heavy hitter here. It is really big and long. You got these really heavy faux pearls in like an antique cream color with the champagne color and these huge um huge little spacers that are rhinestone studded they look like they look like flying saucers and then you have that iridescent stone uh bead just like i just showed you on the other bracelet i mean the other necklace um it is in okay condition. I mean, it's heavy, and I kind of see some like maybe that maybe that could be cleaned off. I don't know. Um, got some nice little spaces here too. I don't know. It's heavy, but so far, I mean, this repurposed lot. Uh, I'm, I haven't run in. You know, it's okay. I mean, it's my first time getting one, so. Um, I can't say I'm disappointed because for the price, look at, you know, I'm getting a lot. What do you think? What do you think? Okay. What is this? It's a necklace. This is a necklace, guys. Okay. It's a necklace. Um, and, and it is... Clear rhinestones, silver, beads, black, enamel, little red dangly beads. Um, cute. Oh, and it's got um, a rhinestone, uh, I guess, bar closure on both sides. That's odd. Has anyone seen something like this? What is this? What is this? Oh, okay. That's the, um, that's, I just closed it. It has the fold over cla clasp, clasp. Um, and it is, uh, it is by somebody. There's a maker and I'm trying to read it. Swarovski? Really? Where's the swan? I don't see no swans. But it actually says Swarovski on both of, on, on both of these uh, clasps. So maybe it's it, it's uh, crystals on the other side are considered to be um, Swarovski. Okay. That's cool. What do you think? I don't know. It must look pretty nice on, right? You think so? You think so? I think so. But it's also um, like a choker style because it is it is kind of short. Okay. Moving along. Moving along. I don't want to take too much. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What am I looking at? What is this? Um, 
a gold tone. Oh, this one does have a swan. So that means oh, it's missing. It's missing one. And I, oh, you know what? This this part is not part of this. It's stuck onto it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is this is the necklace. Oh, and it's got a knot. So I gotta get that out. But this is really tiny too. It's like for a child. Uh, but it is um I can't even say it. Oh, Swarovski crystal. And it has a pendant, which is um, covered with the crystals, and it's missing that one. Uh, this is the back. This is the front. It's cute. What am I going to do? What am I going to do about that? What should I do? Oh, a lot of big, a lot of big clunkers in this lot. Um, okay, silver tone, another Chico's, sorry, another Chico's um, necklace, very colorful, uh, hammered silver tone um, spacers here, and the other side is engraved, so they're and then you have this little, I don't know, thingy. Cute. I mean, someone, someone's style, but not really mine. Chico's. Um, yeah, I think it has to be polished. Unless it's supposed to look, uh, you know, I don't know. What do you think? Boho? Boho. 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 Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Here's another long, 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 long necklace. Uh. Also Chico's. I don't know. I think this lot was. Do you think if it, because it came from Jersey, a lot of the um, donations are from Jersey? I guess Jersey folks like like Chico's. Um, maybe. I don't know. I've never even been to one. Uh, I don't think they have them in New York. Um, and if they did, I, I've never stepped foot in one. But this is kind of nice. It's um, multi-chain, multi-strand, and it's got... Uh, It's got a necklace in a necklace. So you have this inner strand, but I don't know. They look kind of, yeah, they feel real. And um, all these designs, textured, I don't know, seashells? And then you have this outer necklace that has circles and cylinders and white white beads along with these that look like gold tone shells maybe it's cute and it's uh it's an okay shape i guess uh, i'll clean it up and, and 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 sell this too okay all right i know i'm taking up a lot of your time and you girls got, and you, uh, girls and guys, guys and girls, guys and gals have a lot of selling to do on your own. Okay, um, all right, another AB, AB. I still don't know what AB is. What's AB? Um, this is a cute necklace. It's got, it's got this, uh, um, can you see it? And it's, it's kind of like, angled it's got all these shiny 
blue, purple, green, like cabochons. Um, with with that familiar, like lightning bolt, like kind of like the other one I showed you, that design, on a silver tone chain, with the silver tone lobster clasp and those little. There, there you go again. All those little um. I don't know, like pointy things. These pointy things. A B. Somebody, please tell me what A B is. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, back to this one. Um, ugh. dirty, but really cute. I mean, it's antique, right? And it's broken because there's no, there's no clasp. Okay, craft pile. Okay, well, we're almost done. We're almost done. Rosie, Rosie, Marvy, creamy, plastic, uh, barrel clasp, cute, um, ugh, I'll get it, I'll get it, hang on, hang on, okay, dirty, Need to clean, but overall, yeah, it just needs a cleaning. Um, it looks pretty decent. It's cute. Okay. Big heavy chain. Oh. Big heavy chain. Big heavy chain that's broken because there's no clasp. But you go, you recognize this, right? Isn't that Banana Republic? Oh, wait a minute. Duh. Duh. Okay. No, I got it to close. I mean, I think it is. It's like that um, that lifesaver thing. But there's it's missing the hang tag. So. But it's pretty. It's a nice, it's a nice chain, which is um, solid silver tone on some parts of it, and then there's that textured um, rhinestone covered uh, chain links. It's really cute. It's very nice. Okay. Moving along, moving along. Oh, here's another long one. Ooh. Now this is also... You guessed it, Chico's. But it's kind of got like... You see those threads? Oops, sorry. Focus, can you see? See those threads hanging out of it? Yuck. And there's this like faux leather that's kind of entwined in the chain uh it's got really cute um double-sided stones i mean i love the blue and this is like mauvey rosy color i mean it's so pretty so and you see it's on both sides but I don't know. How do you feel about a leather strip going through your chain necklace? I don't think it's necessary. That's why you have that thread. Because of this leather. Hmm. Anyway, craft, craft lot. Getting there, getting there. Getting there. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? This really looks like a rosary chain, right? It has a toggle clasp uh, closure. And 
a double uh, a double strand pink beaded silver tone um, design. What do you think? Cute, right? I think so. I think it's so cute. All right. Heavy, heaviness coming. Oh, gosh. Here's another one that has that uh, lifesaver um, closure. But if you look at it, you see? Can you see that all those threads sticking out of it? And these stones are really... They're cold and heavy and real. Oh yeah. What is that? Car Carnelian? Carnelian? <laughs> yeah. How do you say that word? Or something else? I mean, there's these white and black lines going through it. Uh, they're banded. Banded. Well... Because of the clasp, um, this will go into a craft lot. Someone can really repurpose these um, since they are natural stones. It's really, um, really nice. Okay, what do we have? Oh, can you guess? Chico's. Chico's. Chico's again. And these, it's um, like a... A hematite gunmetal very delicate chain and then you got these balls and in between the balls are these fabric covered rings in between the balls and then on the bottom you have these really oh, these are pretty the, the rhinestone covered almost like a marcasite um, balls. There it is. Really good uh, condition. Very different. Very nice. Oh, we saw this one. Sorry. What do we have? Okay, this feels um like plastic. And these are supposed to be, I guess, pebbles. And it is on a um, toggle cla clasp closure, but in fairly good shape. Oh my God, I haven't taken my magnet out. Let's try the magnet. Let's see if this is magnetic. Hmm. I'm gonna have to test this and find out. But like I said, definitely plastic. Okay. This you saw, this you saw. Oh, oh, remember this? Uh, that bracelet I showed you in the beginning. This was in the box, so yeah. It was the other piece. Broken. Okay. Um, you saw the ring. This is the last item in the box. And it is a ring. A gold tone ring. Um, can you see it? And it looks like it can be engraved. And then when I look inside, hmm. Ugh. I see seven, the number seven, and it looks like a BR. It looks like that Banana Republic uh, logo. So that's it. I don't know. It kind of looks... 
It feels kind of light, you know what I mean? Um, all right. Oh, wait. What's this? A couple more things. Oh, what is this? What is this? 14, S14, oh, okay. Four, mm, $14. $14? For what? What is this? Does anyone know? It's a silver tone flower. It's like in a figure eight with the, these plastic beads. But then this thing is connected to it. Do you see it? It says www.lross.biz. Huh? Uh, patent number. Does anybody know what this is? Anybody? Okay. I lied. I found something else. Um... No marks. It looks like turquoise uh, chips. And it sticks. Uh, I'm sorry guys, like I said, first timer. First timer! And I'm trying my best. But it's like I pushed everything to the side and I realized there there are a couple items I, I missed and I'm, I'm grabbing them for you right now. And um, this one is just a... Uh, what is this? It's so tiny. What are these things? They're, I mean, they're so small. I got the Chico's AB and Baby Jewelry lot. That's really tiny. Um. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Anyway. Last. I promise. This is the last thing. Clips. Maybe for your sweater. I don't know. What do you use this for? <sighs> Faux pearls. Um, and, and clips. Clips? Yeah, clips. And something. I mean, come on, not bad, right? The only thing I found in the box that was broken was this. Well, that's, uh, that's my first Goodwill blue box. Hopefully, uh, I can sell some things and try to get my money back. What do you think? I think it's time to get more inventory. Um, maybe try it again or, well, I did have a thread up box once and that was before I made videos and I, I was um, fairly happy with those. Uh, but you know, they are just as hard to get. So maybe I will try to, you know, try to get another one of those. But I want to thank you all for um, sharing this time with me and uh, thank you so much it it's uh, it was re it's really fun I enjoy I enjoy doing this and uh, hope to see you soon okay bye